Okay, everybody, welcome back. So this this video is going to cover material facts related to property condition and location. We have five lessons and a unit exam. I'm going to try and fit all this on one video under 30 minutes. And let's see how we go. The unit exam is 12 questions, which is pretty long. So um, we'll see if we get through this. Structural issues. Structural issues that can occur. Discoloration or curling. Let's say common roof issues. All right, let's open this up in the new tab. We got some pictures to look at. All right, the shingles are discolored. Could be a sign that repairs needed to be done. Flashing around the pipes or vents is um, could be a sign of damage. Water leak, gutters um, that are not taken care of could be success susceptible to water buildup. Small animals, what is that anyway? And insects are attracted to the wood beneath the roof. So pay attention to cracked holes. It looks like a beehive. All right, fascia, the front board along your roof is easily damaged by moisture. So all of these things could occur when we are looking at roofs. These are things that need to be disclosed and home inspectors need to look out for. Water buildup <coughs> is fascia, I believe. <coughs> Water buildup um, could be flashing. Discoloration or curling could be shingles. And damage or water leaks, the gutter. Okay, well, never mind on that. The gutter is water buildup and ice damaging. And damage or water leaks are shingles. No, is um, flashing, I guess. Okay. And then this one is shingles. Okay, there you go. And I'm not a roofing expert, you can tell. All right. Fireplace and chimney can be... Look at all the pictures we're getting on these things. I love it. Okay. Common fireplace and chimney problems. Make sure you ask the sellers uh, when the chimney or fireplace was last inspected or serviced. The creosote stains on the outside of the chimney may indicate a unlined flu. I have no idea what unlined flu means, but those who have chimneys would know. Do you have draft problems inside the house? Okay, so there could be a problem there with the chimney. A fireplace cracks on the fireboards and hearths could be a sign there's a problem with the chimney. No recent inspection could be a problem. This could be a problem. Not a problem if you have ash because that means it's working. All right, check out this basement. Which three items could be an indicative of foundation issues? I guess we're clicking on it. Um, right over here. There aren't any cracks in your foundation. Okay. Common window problems. The window won't stay open. Preference for vinyl windows. All right, we got another picture. Let's open it up. Windows that stick or won't stay open. Damaged hardware, damaged broke glass, looking for damaged seals. All these things could be common window problems. Okay, preference for vinyl windows. Uh, damage seal. Okay. All right, major system conditions. These are all related to property conditions. The HVAC system. Oh, let's go and look at this. Do we have another picture? Yes, we have another picture. All right, air conditioner does not kick on. The furnace does not kick on. The rooms are hot or cold. Heating and cooling is off. Potential problems are order installation issues. 
Furnace does not kick on as a red flag. We're not serviced for two months ago. That's not. Back bedroom is freezing and hot in the summer, maybe. Heating and cooling costs can be high. All right, always check for the plumbing. The plumbing is next. Let's check the leaks in the sink. Staining in the ceiling below a second floor bathroom. Reduced water pressure. Faulty water softener. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what this says here. All right. Water damage to the ceiling could indicate a burst pipe. Soggy ground around the home could indicate a water line problem. Uh, leaking or back sink drain. Older homes may have galvanized steel pipes that can do reduce water pressure. They have rust, faulty hot water heaters that leak up and don't warm up. Clogged or leaked leaking toilets could indicate a draining problem. Okay. All right, faulty wa water system is not a plumbing problem. Okay, I was unsure about that one. Keep your head above water. The next thing is electrical stuff. These are all things that the um, home inspector does. Light illuminates when the switch is turned on. Let's go and look at this. We got another picture. I love the pictures. It breaks up all this dry material. Okay. Switches that are warm to the touch. Okay, that could indicate a problem. Lights that burn out frequently. I mean, you're not going to know all this by one home inspector. Um, faulty appliances, you can probably see that. Burnt out or discolored outlets. Could be a sign of an electrical issue. Um, older damaged circuit breakers. Light illuminates when the switch is turned on. Uh, I don't think that would be an issue. You don't have any wires crossed. All right, system disclosure and inspections. Um, in a caveat emptor state, buyers should be prepared to investigate themselves. Um, you'll need to know what kind of state you're in when you are helping buyers because if they don't have any, if sellers are not required to disclose stuff, then you need to make sure they have as much protection as possible if you're representing them. All right, a new construction. All right, how to tell if permits were pulled. All right, let's say you're touring a house with your buyer and although the sellers claim that no mere modeling was done without a permit, the new addition seems a little off. Your clients are first-time home buyers, and you don't want them inheriting a bunch of problems down the road. How can you tell if uh, permits have been pulled? You start by determining which jur jurisdiction has authority for permits in that area, whatever local city or county they're in, and the permits are usually cataloged by the street, so you'll want to contact the appropriate office and ask them if any permits were pulled and they should have a copy of that and uh, in most cases it's possible that a septic tank still exists even if the sewer has been connected to a public sewer if permits were not pulled the city or county may require the unpermitted additions to be partially or fully disassembled in order to inspect the quality of the work and make sure it's up to code if you're represented a buyer it's best to get this out of the way before the buyer purchases the property um, if you're representing a seller who may not have inherited an unpermitted property, investigating the issue can open up a can of worms that your seller is going to have to address. Um, they also notice a crumb. Ask the seller agent about the agent. Walk away from the property. Uh, that's what I would probably do. Walk away if they've got all these kind of problems. Penny tries to open a window without any luck and then notices a crack above the door, but Penny can't really see herself in this home can really see herself in this home. Ask the seller about the window. All right, Kyle asks about red flags in the sunroom, but the seller is not aware of any material effects. What should Kyle and Penny do? Investigate this further and um, contact the appropriate authority to see if any um, inspection contingency 
red flags arise and you want to help your buyer avoid and getting any um, unnecessary drama. The sunroom addition wasn't permitted. What three actions may the city or county require to rectify? Partial disassembly, full disassembly, correcting issues within the addition. And that could be costly to the seller too, by the way. All right, lot size encroachments and easements. All right. Let's look at this one. Oh, it's not pictures this time. Easement is the right to cross over another person's property for a specified purchase. Sometimes people have to share uh, driveways and such. An encroachment is an intrusion of some st structure or object that crosses the property's boundary line. Um, build the story. Build the story using the following terms. Um, this one would probably be an easement. And then this one would probably be an encroachment. Um, built a dock for fishing behind his house, and the dock is two feet inside his neighbor's property, but he will let them use it. It's an encroachment. Buyers should know what they're getting into by determining lot size as well as easements or encroachments. We have a survey performed. We discussed this in other videos, so if you are confused, you need to go back. There's more than one video on this. So this scene agent is required to get a new survey done. I mean, I don't know if they're required to do that. Will only appear, easements will only appear on up to date. And this buyers will usually identify easements and encouragements while doing due diligence. Um... A listing requirement as agents to get a new survey. No, I didn't think so. And no. Easements will appear on old surveys as well as new ones. All right, lesson five, exterior conditions of the property. Okay, natural disasters during heavy rainstorm, water drains away from the house. Oh, that's some little pictures. Yay. All right, let's look here. All right, smoke damage, discoloration in near the windows, damage roofing could be a sign of store damage, storm damage, missing crack could be missing cracked or displaced shingles could be wind damage. Um, soft floors, discolored ceilings, flood damage, water lines, discolor. If you're interested in all this, you could become an inspector. I might do a video on that, becoming a home inspector. Um, because this is a career channel, so we do different careers. So we'll do one on an appraiser and a home inspector. But this is what home inspectors do a lot. They look for these types of things. And you have to go through some kind of certification for this, by the way. Which is not a real not a real estate salesperson certification, but it's good for realtors to know this. And I don't believe this is on the test. You just need to know what a home inspector does, basically. Um, and that's it. You know, you're not going to be tested or you're not going to be given a picture. And this is what a home inspector would probably get tested on, not, not a realtor. But you need to have an idea of what they do because um, it's good to know. That way you can tell your clients. Water drains away from the house, I guess. The signs of an issue. Uh, I don't know if that's signs of an issue or not. I get. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Water puddles remain on the property for more than 24 hours. Maybe. All right. Let's see what we got. No, that's not an apparent sign. Okay. I wasn't sure. If it's going away from the house, then, um, right, it wouldn't be an issue, right? 
if it's sitting near the house and not moving. Missing, missing shingles is missing shingles, wind damage, staining fire, discoloration could be fire. Um, any evidence of winter fire damage should be investigated. All right, let's do the unit exam. It's 12 questions. Maybe we'll get lucky and pass it the first time. Okay, which of the following could indicate a problem with the chimney flue or ventilation? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I am not a chimney expert. Um, ventilation, drafts near the fireplace. Totally guessing on that because I don't know much about chimneys. Okay, missing cracked or displaced roof shingles. Could be wind. All right, Marshall is a home inspector. He's walking the lot, inspecting with a survey in his hand. Which of the following does he note as an encroachment on the inspection report? Um, I'm thinking this one. Okay, Charles learned that the master bath addition on the home he purchased was built without obtaining um, permits. It's actually situated too close to the lot line. What might Charles have to do with his master bath? Um, pay an exorbitant zoning fee. No, maybe. What might he have to do with his master bath? Um... He might have to take it down, take the addition down. That one's iffy. Okay, Paul and Blank are touring an open house. They notice this glass on the sliding glass door is foggy. This could be a sign of um, a leaky seal. How can you determine lot size easements, encroachments of property? Select the answer that would provide the most comprehensive search. Um, easements, encroachments, select the answer that provides the most search. I would say this one. Why is it important for buyers to ask when a chimney or fireplace was last inspected? It provides unit maintenance and function. When, when, what can water damage on a ceiling or wall indicate? Plumbing issues. Home inspector Mara was walking Thad through a property inspection. The frame house on a slab foundation that had been piled up 18 inches next to the house. Why was this a concern? Um, I would say it may lead to wood rot. I don't know. Mulch piled up 18 inches next to the house. I don't know about that one. I don't remember seeing that on any of the stuff we listened to here. Okay, Bill is joining his inspector for inspection of the property. He hopes to purchase. Um, he notices dirt on the exterior of the home, slopes towards the house. He explains that it should slope away from the home. What kind of problem would this can create? Um, maybe basement leaks. Which of the following could be an indication of a foundation problem? Your buyers step outside to view the backyard. You recognize um, the back doors. You can't get the back door closed again. 
Um, you recognize this could be a symptom of a um, poor general maintenance of the home. Hmm. Maybe. Could be a could be something else too. All right, I don't know. I don't feel I passed it amazingly enough. Let's see which ones we got wrong. We have a good 10 minutes, so I'm going to go slow in case you want to take a screenshot. All right, chimney flue ventilation total total um guess there. Got that guess right. Wind damage. All right, let's see which one we got wrong here. This one is the neighborhood installed a basketball hoop next to his driveway six inches over the property line. Oh, illegally, encroachment illegally places an object on the person's property. Okay, like a basketball hoop. All right. So these people would have to take the addition down with the master bath. If they um, did not, if they did it without obtaining permits. All right, this is leaky so, leaky seal, which reduces efficiency. All right, this one is comprehensive search. Okay, can reveal information about the unit's maintenance and function. Water damage on the ceiling is plumbing issue. Oh, I got this mulch question correct. That is amazing. All right, I totally guessed on that one too. Next two wood siding may lead to wood rot. Okay. This one is basement leaks. Crack in the wall foundation. Indication of a foundation problem. And this one is a foundation problem when you can't get the back door closed again. All right, I would have never guessed that either. Back door closed. If you can't get the back door closed, it could be a foundation problem. Misaligned doors and windows indicate there are settlement problems with the foundation. All right, so we are done this unit two and our unit three, if you're gonna continue here, is gonna be environmental hazards. And this might be my last unit for this particular day. So I will see everybody on the next video if you're continuing along.